Learning construction. Learn, share, expand. Okay, hi, my name is Randy with BFP Fire and I'll teach you how to thread a piece of one inch pipe on learningconstruction.com. There we go, we're gonna st stick it in our rigid 300 machine. Slide it in there to chuck the die. You can slam it down a couple of times. And we're gonna go ahead and ream the end of it. That gets the, any, any blockage out of the pipe. We don't wanna lose any friction on this edge right here. Little pieces of pipe. So we go ahead and run it. Put a nice clean bevel on it so we don't have any friction loss. We're gonna drop our threader down. Right now it's set to one inch. so we don't burn up our dies. Once we get about a thread and a half past that die, we'll go ahead and release it. Bring it back up. Get the oil off of it. We typically want about two and a half to three turns on these threads. So I'll go ahead and check it just to make sure. There's one, two, three, and a little bit past, so we're perfect. I'm gonna go ahead and put a little dope on it. Seal it. We always tape it also. Put it in the makeup bar. And you'll hear the machine start to wind down. And we know we're tight. Release your stuff, and now you've got a piece of pipe with a 90 on it. Okay. And like I said, we want to make sure we oil, keep the threads lubricated. They get extremely hot. This die head will burn out, and these dies are expensive. They're about $150 a set, so you don't want to really go through too many. This will last me about two years if I take care of it, this set of dies. This is your cutter. I didn't actually cut a piece of pipe for you. Same deal. We can go ahead and chuck it. The cutter wheel down. You don't want to go too fast, otherwise you'll snap the wheel on the cutter. So about a half a turn every rotation. It pops off. Then we'll start the whole process again. We drop our reamer. Put it on there. Die head. We'll flip it over to lock it. I always have the machine sloped toward the oiler so that the pipe isn't full of oil. You'll always have a little bit, can't help that, but uh, you want to make sure that way it's not dripping all over the floor, finished product or anything like that. Um, always want to make sure you have your safety pedal on the machine. The machines are extremely powerful. A lot of guys cut this switch off out of convenience and they'll use the, the on off switch here, but if you get something locked up, your hand, your gloves gets caught or something, you have no way of shutting it off and it'll tear your fingers off before you know it. So always maintain your safety pedal and keep your hands clear of this, you know, moving parts on this thing. That's about all I got for you. Hopefully we helped a little bit here. Um, all you do is do it yourself or at home. It'll work, uh, we can change these dies out to go anywhere from a half to three quarter pipe. These are set from one to two inch. But for copper, I mean, for plumbing around the house, half inch to three quarter, you can buy another set of dies and just interchange the parts. So, okay? Thank you.